Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today's video, this is going to be a video on how to make a 50 caliber sniper just like this on the screen that you see inside a blender. So if that's interesting, make sure to stick around. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas and it's the channel all about getting you better at blender. So if that's interesting, just make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. By the way, if you have any questions, you can find me live here on here on this YouTube channel every Monday and Friday at 1 p.m. UK time. So if you have any questions, feel free to come hang out. Enjoy the video. Cheers. Okay, so add a cube. Get down. G. B, G. And then we can extrude this out on the Y. So we have it here. Extrude out and we can extrude down just for the stock. Uh, it's like this, and then we can go drag this down, extrude, and then extrude again, and then add an edge loop and another one. And then, if you have the loop tools add on enabled, you can go select these two W and then blue tools bridge. And that's a quick way to bridge something. So let's go to back and then scale these in. And then uh, we can select these V, scale this down, and then bridge like that. Okay. So we can scale the, this top part down independently of the top I mean this bottom part uh, independently of the top have a tried out tune shaders uh yeah they're pretty they're pretty cool um they only kind of work in uh ev but yeah they do look pretty quite cool okay so you take these s x and then we can go make the mom the what's it the middle of the body Extrude down G extrude, uh, extrude. So it's for the handle, obviously. Uh yeah. So we drag this down, add an edge loop, and there. Okay. So we have it here. So we have the magazine over here, so we want to accommodate for that. So we drag to here. Uh we extrude down to here and then we can go uh, delete this face and then fill uh delete this face as well fill and then fill okay and then select the select here and we can do the same thing so select this edge fill and then fill okay cool so it's a triangle but whatever works better for the situation um so then we can inset scale x and shift d p and then we can go select this edit mode extrude down to the z and then maybe just sz zero get a flat no it's not flat to the image but we're gonna do it anyway so there so there you go then we can select this edge uh let's do the old pages okay you use perspectives a lot what do you mean like moving around or like this so actually i'll just keep down to that i'm pretty sure it was like a i think what's the the period on the the number pad that uses this so you can just well i don't know i just why i quite like it a bit i found it's a lot more useful okay so a bit hard to see on this image but I believe this is like a stand over here. So we just select this face, extrude the Y. And we get all the way, G, Y, S, Y, zero. Okay. And then we can go to side view. And then we go add a, add a cylinder. Uh, change the vertices to six. Rx90 scale and then if we have vertex snapping on go snap this on the Y uh, Y to here and then scale 
Shift S Wah. Get position. Add a mode G Wah. Still like I've saved a lot of time and wrist pain. Yeah. So it also helps because well firstly I don't have a uh I have a 60% keyboard. So like this. So I don't have a numpad. There's no numpad over here. So I kind of have to keep combine it to my mouse. So I can just change change views like that. Um and instead of just being like because I mean like if you're gonna if you're gonna extrude it to the reference image while work like this, you can just go there. So yeah. Okay. And then we go extrude. Then we extrude all the way. And then they have like this little capsule kind of thing over it. So we select this shift D P. And then we can go add edge loop. Delete these faces. And then drag this back and then add a solidifier and there we have a little thingy going over it okay cool and we can apply the solidifier and there you go okay so yeah let's go top view and we just start scale it down a bit or let's do the whole barrel so top view sx and then just select this top piece gz wait you can land stuff behind gz and then we'll add this rail over here so we go shift uh let's just select this face uh yeah shift d d and g y uh, uh. what do you mean the tip is wrong this that don't matter, it's just a slight detail. Yeah, so we select this, we extrude up, and then we go add in a cube, scale it all the way down. Wire, scale wire, and then uh, like that, and SX, we can SX. Scale it down and then add a array and you just do zero and then drag it out uh, like this okay so we just do it like this and we can go all the way along okay and then we can go apply and we can add a boolean and then select this and you can see we have it like this. Okay. Actually, I want to go back. So I scale them down and then drag up the stars. The gap, I mean. So like that. Okay. And we can go boolean select it oh do you think it's top it's it's wrong in this one this image oh it doesn't matter it's low poly yeah whatever so yeah okay so we have our boolean uh we've selected it let's look at it that looks all right so we get apply so we have our boolean the uh, rail over here okay and then we can actually we can start making the uh what's that scope so we can go add a, a cube go to edit mode scale this down s bar and then we can go in front of you sx like that and then you can see this goes down and then that goes into a, a round off piece we just go SX like that and then go shift D bar like that okay. and then just go set goes to center uh to selected uh, so that will set it to the center so we know where the center of between the two so we can go add another cube 
like that. And then go R. And then uh, extrude SX uh, Y. SY. Extrude scale. Shift X. No, shift Y. And then scale. Uh, scale X. Scale Y. But extrude scale Y. And there you go. We have our uh, scoop. If you want to make it more round, we can just go add a edge loop like this. And then if you have the loop tools add on, uh, you can go circle. Uh, you know, you could stake everyone and circle. Well, that's way too time consuming. Uh, you could also just uh, select this one, Alt S to shrink and fatten. That's another way of doing it. Um, or just selecting these edges and then double G to edge slot. So I'm just going to do the, the alt S to make it slightly bigger. And then you can see if we go to top view that they round out like this. So we just S Y Z, uh, S Y zero, but S Y zero there. Okay. And there you go. So that's the scope. Let's just get it up on the X a bit. And then we can go inset and extrude scale bar. Okay, there. And there, I'll just add the, the, the trigger. So let's go add in a, a cube, scale down all the way, and extrude, rotate, scale, extrude scale like that a few uh sx.5 sx.5 there you go and there you go we have a trigger and there you go it's a 50 dollar raffle yo guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure to like subscribe and uh check out me live whenever you can also if you have any questions you can come check out me live here on this uh, youtube channel every monday and friday 1 p.m uk time and if you don't fit into the time schedule just check out my discord and you can go uh, talk to some people there cheers have a good day and keep on blendering <laughs>